But I would swap Odegaard for Bruno. And you guys, would you swap? I, I, I would, would you take Bruno Fernandez? Would you would you take Bruno Fernandez, Lee Connor and uh, Bruno Fernandez and, uh, Northside? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you need a player like Odegaard in our team, someone that can actually retain possession. That can now we need a player ball. with both of those guys. <laughs> yeah, like they both got opposite bro. Like Bruno's very direct, but can't hold position. Uh, can't hold mm. possession. Odegaard mm. holds possession, but isn't direct. You need a player with both. You need actually. a Madison. Yeah, exactly. Madison is the perfect combination of oh, Madison. Cal uh, it, Madison is a proper oh. number ten. He is what I call yeah a calculated risk taker, bro. It's a calculated risk. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. bro, like Bruno just takes risks for no reason. It's not calculated. When people are saying, oh, yeah, he's got, like, man is saying he's got great vision. Bro, he doesn't look. He just puts the ball where he sees grass, bro. Like, what, do you think he's looking for players? Like, man, are really overrating this Don. He's not looking for players. He's never been looking for players. Bro, Bruno plays the ball. I've never seen anyone play more first time passes than Bruno Fernandes. He don't know where the ball is. He just He's hitting just it, bro. It he just bro, slapping spamming, it, bro. bro. Like, bro, man knows spamming, that Rashford's bro. got the pace to get there. That's all it is. It's not like Bruno. Normally, when you see good passes of the ball, they'll set their body and then they're putting spin on the ball, whether it's top spin, back spin, or they're curling it and that. Bruno just slapping it in any direction, bro. He hits it like he's playing tennis, bro. Like that's what man's doing, bro. Forehand down the line all the time. Slap, same slap. Hits the ball flat. There's no spin on it, no curl on it, no nothing. Just flat, and he's just hitting it. That's all he does. It's horrible it, to bro. watch. But apparently, chance creating. You know, what I mean, the stat that they use because it's a lot of volume, bro. Imagine you're getting opportunity to slap that ball. 20 30 times a game, bro. <laughs> of course, yeah. you're gonna get more chances in your favor because it's volume mm. and there's no accountability, there's literally mm. none at all. Because the manager don't care because he's like, I want results, you know. I'm trying to mm. say so. I look at it, I'm like, but then again, when he loses the ball, everyone says, But he's still trying, though. No, how about you are detriment to our team because yeah. you keep giving the ball away, you know. What I mean, look what he did for the goal, you see, the bro, goal, he way, threw the, the goal, dummy. When he threw the dummy, bro, there was no one there. Bro, man dummied it, yeah? He dummied <laughs> the ball when there was no one there. And, bro, don't tell me that he looked before the dummy. He didn't look. He nah, just dummied man. the ball, bro, he because look. he couldn't control it because he's not good enough. So he tried to look clever by dummying it. That's all he did, bro. He's horrible. And then we literally concede like six seconds later. What are you doing? Why? Right. How? Like, what are you, you doing? What made me laugh this... in that game was when Rashford tried that back heel, man. <laughs> oh, man. Bruv. I know the low IQ. That was hilarious. Low IQ, the keeper. Bruv, you know oh, what was crazy IQ. as well before the back heel, yeah? He controls it and then he does a little kind of fake. It's like he thought about doing the back heel and then he just done it anyway. It's like he thought about it and then he thought, nah, this is dumb. Fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway. You know, that's what it was, because he hesitated as well before the back heel. It's not like it was a fluid flick or nothing. He stopped the ball, he just dummied the back heel, and he was just like, right, let me just, yeah, fuck it. You know what I mean? Nah, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> bro, it doesn't even make sense. What are you doing? These men are, tech the bro, technically, they just got so many problems. They got so bro, many problems, bro. bro. Like, I just don't understand what these men are doing. And this is why Rashford should never play facing away from the goal. The manager's persistence playing him in the nine is crazy it's like rashford needs Criminal. to see where Criminal. he's going and even when he sees where he's going he still runs into players so why would you play him where he can't see where he's going like the whole thing is actually mad to me and these managers will pay for their sins bro the same way arteta and ten hog um are moving like one of the super chats my man said the arrogance of these man yeah is the worst part about them the worst yeah. part about them is their arrogance because it's like these yeah. men, yeah, they're not naive, bro. They're not naive. The Arteta's thing is not naivety, it's arrogance. It's arrogance to think, yeah, that you can play one way last season, yeah, get to the brink of the title, and then think that you can just make all of these changes and just think that everything's gonna system. be all right. It's like, bro, like who do you yeah. think you are? You got so far. So close, doing it one way. A man said, "I right, fuck it, we yeah. rip everything up." Who are you? Like you've got not, you've got nothing, bro. You've never won a league title, yeah. 
What makes like bro? He thinks he's Pep already. This is the yeah. problem. You know when I talk about mm-hmm. when I talk about Android Seventeen for us, bro. He's got the Lewis the ego of Lewis Figo, bro. But he's got no accolades. Like no accolades, bro. Simmer down. You've done nothing, bro. You've done nothing. Arteta f- genuinely thinks he's Pep Guardiola, bro. And then when it doesn't work, he looks bare upset on the side, bro. Like confused. It's like, hey, bro, you were an idiot. Like this yesterday. Just mm. no, yeah. he didn't have a he's better than our manager. My manager to do anything. No, yeah, but the crazy thing really is about Arteta, he goes on like he's mad confident, yeah, yeah? but he's faking it, bro. Yeah. And you can tell he's faking it. You know why? Because yeah. Arsenal lost one game and all of a sudden, against Fulham, he's got them man doing up flipping half half um half well half court or half um halfway line low block like what are you doing you're asking awesome. he's getting them warming up on the sidelines like it's zumba lessons bro oh that That's was a joke yeah, that was fun no, you're arsenal you're arsenal <laughs> and you lose <laughs> one game how can you beat arsenal <laughs> and lose <laughs> one game bro <laughs> and all of a sudden every man behind the ball when I, the way i saw arsenal come out for the second half i couldn't believe what i was watching I was like, hold on. I could, bro. You know what I mean? He's probably played Hey Macarena at half time and just, guys, please, guys, everybody, <laughs> please, guys. Using them speakers that he was using for Anfield, guys. It's a it's a tough environment, guys. Zumbale, guys. Everybody, jump and wave. Jump <laughs> and wave. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Suck, you know what I mean? Jump, bro. And then you've got flipping the Norwegian. <laughs> the Norwegian. <laughs> The Norwegian Peter Andre in there as well, bro. You know what I mean? Doing mysterious girl <laughs> flicking his hair in the flipping, you know what I mean? In the changing rooms. From my club, bro. Tell me it's so true, bro. There's it's no horrible. tactics here. And then I see it with Ten Hag, bro. Look at that Floki from Vikings, bro. Your manager's done out here as well. All of Wait, these man nah. are lost, bro. Our manager's the worst, though. Our manager's and the worst. The and focal you know... point is for both clubs, Rance, yeah? Mm. Is both of us have ADHD players, bro. Rashford and Martinelli, yeah. bro. These guys <laughs> yeah. have no IQ. ADHD players, bro. Bro, that's <laughs> wild. Sense. That's wild. Nah. No, it's you know what true. You know what same, true. Same with Android you know, 17 you know, as well. It's true. What's up with that trim with, 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 with your boy Rashford, bro? It looks bro, like it's the same bro. with Android 17. I've seen a stat here that him and Bruno, yeah? have combined gave away the ball something crazy amount of times in that game bro like him and bruno just giving the ball to the other team bro i've seen something like bruno's giving the ball away 680 times yeah this season and only got three assists mate so, like, so Gar- garnacho yeah looks like he uh looks like she's in phase four of the transition that's crazy that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I don't, I don't Next that. time you see her no, on listen. TV, next time you see her running around on TV, nah. you'll not be able to not see it anymore. Nah, you not allow the kid, man. <laughs> Leave my guy. Alone. Oi, bro, what? Nah, Lee, Lee that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's amazing, bro. Nah, nah. Nah, bro, his Lee, brother's man. out here blocking people on Twitter and that. I know that man. Hey, he's, he's following. So he's following um, some Chelsea <laughs> account that's got about half a million followers. He's following some United account with about like nine hundred. Nah, thousand. that's crazy, yeah. bro. Trying to get some that... the top, top Reds and that on side and the top proper yeah. Chelsea on side. So they don't start <laughs> off. Now you know what it is, yeah. He sent for um, he uh, he sent for a langer in it, and I see a lot of these um. Oh, I, I, I see a lot of these. Langer, no. I see a lot of these guys on a langer. Let me tell you something for free. Yeah, Crazy. a langer don't owe you man anything, bro. You Thanks. know like that because I don't rate a langer. But let me tell you something about the youth. Yeah, he said it was personal for me because I felt that I wasn't tri- um, treated um, as well as I should have been. And you know what? He's not the only player to say that. Look at the amount of players yeah that have been at this club that have been mistreated. Even when you look up what they done to my man, the goalkeeper. Um, yeah. what's his name? What's his name? The goalkeeper. The, that... the Hayer. Not the Hayer. Forget the Hayer before him. The, the other brother. Uh, Pope. Romero. Romero. The way they done Romero. Yeah. They done Romero dirty. They're doing Donny van der Beek dirty. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro, like they even done Lingard dirty. Bro, this club, yeah, is known, yeah, for not treating players well. And the funny thing is, yeah, like I can't wait because eventually when... um. When Sancho leaves and he gives us his side of the story, you'll realise that, man, he's been done dirty by this football club as well. They've thrown him out to dry. They tried to use him, yeah, as this, as a scapegoat. They decided, you know what, we're going to make him to be the bad guy because we're going to hang our hat on this manager. 
And now all that's happened is, yeah, the PR stunt's gone wrong. People are starting to realise that the manager's the problem. And now the club looks stupid. It's almost at the point that yeah. the club looks so stupid, they can't even make a U-turn on the Sancho thing. They have to do 10 toes now and stand behind their decision, yeah, to pick the manager over the player. That's what they need to do. But the funny thing about the situation is this club is known for mistreating players, bruv. It's known for it. So if Alanga comes out and you could see the emotion in the celebration, like he genuinely like felt vindication yeah for how he was treated he don't owe the club nothing bro like you man didn't want him anyway mm. so now all of a sudden you're saying you oh, you've been here since you were 11 years old and have some respect but no respect man but like, all of that. He's got a new team he's got a new team he don't play for us anymore you lot wanted him sold like what? this is what i'm trying you're to say this entitlement it's the entitlement yeah. united mm. fans entitled to what what are you entitled to for him to say i still love united Bro, he left. He's got a new club, a new set of supporters that love him, and mm -hmm. he's got a new journey. Like, mm -hmm. but we want to cry on internet because Ilanga's not showing us respect. Bro, it's Ilanga. No disrespect to Ilanga, yeah, but I don't want no respect from Ilanga. Like, yeah, that's bro, it. Do I, want it to, I don't, what do I want respect for from Ilanga? What do I want respect for? Right, bro, what, this is what I mean. Bro, games? these men are getting upset about a player they don't even care about. That's how I know these <laughs> men are. They, they got issues. Like, you know, like that. It's like, bro, we don't care about him. All of us were saying that we should sell him. And now he's gone. You want him to not celebrate goals and not be happy. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you want? Like, you didn't want him here. Everyone was saying he can go. When we sold him, everyone was saying, oh, that's great business. Now I'm saying we got decent money for him. And we were like, right, like, we got decent money for Alanga. And now all of a sudden they're crying because we lost the forest. Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't 15, make sense. 15 million quid you got for him. What would he owe you? Exactly. Yeah, and he, he wasn't good enough to play for us. Profit, and we, that is. And well. we made a nice profit. We made a nice profit from him. Yeah, because there's no way yeah. you've paid him 15 mil. Bruv, yeah, we so got him at 11 money. years old, either on a free or for peanuts. Yeah, and not only yeah, that, all the way when yeah. he has then started a contract with Man United, there's no way he's mm. earned 15 million in that time from when no he's way. signed that contract. No way. Yeah, maybe, maybe a million quid before you flogged him. So he's made you 14 mil profit. Get out of here, man. What's wrong with these people? That's they're just jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pissed yeah, yeah, yeah. Their team but lost, and it's him that scored. Exactly. It's him that had a good game. Exactly. Makes you feel better. It's like mm. with the Arsenal fans crying about VAR and I know it's because the team's shit, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. How about your That's team? what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is that. It is that, no. it is, It's a copium, isn't it? It's copium. That's all it is. And the thing mm. is, yeah, it's like with Sancho now. You know, someone put a tweet up, yeah, saying, oh, cost um, 350 bags a week he's getting, but he's out partying. Bro, why do you care? He's The manager's not playing him. What do you want him to do? What's yeah, bro. Do you know what, what the, the worst thing about that narrative is, Saeed? The worst thing about that narrative is, yeah, they're making it out that Sancho ref is refusing to play. He's not. Sancho wants to play football. He wants to train. He said that he's not going to apologise publicly, yeah? Because why should he, bro? Because from what I understand, yeah? Like, it wasn't about apologising to the manager that he had an issue with, yeah? Publicly. Even, though he, even publicly. though he didn't want to. But he said, I'm not going out there, yeah? And publicly apologising for something that I ain't sorry for. You know, like that. Because it's like, I can say, oh, you know, cool, we can squash it in it, sorry and that, whatever. But I am not publicly, yeah. you're not humiliating me publicly to make a point. You're not doing that. He never said, yo, I don't want to play football. He never said that. So when the man is saying, oh, Sancho's refusing to play and this, get the fuck out of here. He's not refusing to play football. He's not refusing to play football. All he done was, yeah. All he done was what any real man should do, yeah, in the situation where if a man's talking shit on your name, you correct yeah, simple. that. Defend your name. That's it. Defend your name. I will simple. defend my name, yeah, on anything, bro. I'm not going to have no one come out here and talk shit and say I did and I did X, Y, Z and I didn't do it. Especially if it can so affect say, my bro. life and my livelihood. Like, there's people that can chat shit about me online. Oh, bro, listen, the bills are getting paid. I don't care. You know <laughs> yeah, them ones there. Yeah. You can't stop me from eating. When you're putting me in a position where you can tarnish man's, my legacy, my future, and all these things from bullshit, because that's what football's about. Football, you only need one manager to blackball you, and all of a sudden, yeah, you, your career's mad. Bro, it's happened to loads of players. 
Loads of players. One manager said, said something about a player and all of a sudden he can't get clubs. You see it all the time. So as a footballer, I'm not going to allow you to put out a false narrative about me that could affect the rest of my career, my ability to feed my family. Yeah, I'm going to back that. Like, so, and look, and guess also, what? Also, he got rid of Sancho. Yeah. What have we done since then? Been knocked out the Champions Bro. League. Do you know what I'm saying? All these things. So, and he's not a part of that. So Sancho was right. Yeah, he was right. But it's also the hypocrisy. It's also the hypocrisy when he said about Rashford. I'm not gonna. Mm. I'm gonna tell it to the media. I'm gonna tell it to him private. It's the, mm. it's the double standards, isn't it? It's the fact that you're saying one thing, you're protecting certain other man. You get me? When you see all of that shit, bro. I've, every players have got every right. Same thing with Elanga. He said it was mm. personal. He said, "Yo, he did. He did. It's personal." He said, bro, yes, last season I was getting one game and then not playing for another game. <laughs> Obviously, da, 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 da. so he thought, yo, listen, allow this. I'm moving. You don't understand what happens behind the scenes. Everyone just sees what they see yeah, in the narrative. He said it was personal, the bro. Then that's what personal, people need to bro. look at. That means this manager disrespected, man, on a personal level, bruv. You know, like that. And it might have just been not speaking to him the right way. It could have just been that. Like not managing him as a human being the right way. It's one thing playing a man one week and then not playing him. Like, for instance, look at... Yep. Look at the young players right now. Look at Palestri. Look at um, even flipping Android 17, bro. He started the season two games, didn't play well. And then he got dropped blood for ages. You know, like that. How does that, how does that happen with these young players, yeah? Do you know how that affects these young players? When yeah. they're in one week. Look, same with Hannibal. In one week, looking like flavour of the month. People talking about a new contract then, bro. You don't play for two months. That's not how you manage young players. You know what I'm saying? There's, and that's not how you manage performance them. when they have no run. They have no yep. run in the team. So how are they ever going to be able to perform when mm -hmm. you're never giving them a run? Well, exactly. We had the same crap with, with Trossard. When he's on form, doesn't get played. I know he's not young. But just mm -hmm. to the point of not allowing players and giving them opportunities. When he's on form, man gets dropped. Then when he's mm -hmm. off form, oh, it's because he's off form. You're never playing him, though. You're never, mm -hmm. you're never giving him consistency even when he deserves to be selected. It's all stupidness, bro. Yeah, and this is the thing, and and like I said, the same thing. It happened in the all or nothing thing with the Tottenham thing when Danny Rose went and he spoke to Jose. He was like, "Listen, that like, you're saying that cool. You don't think that I performed that well the last game? It's like, bro, I ain't played for three fucking months. Do you know what I'm saying? And then you just expect me to come in one game, and be the best player on the pitch, and then I'm out for another two months and that. Like that don't make no sense. Like every footballer has to play their way into form, bro." Some players are just have a base level that's higher than others, but everyone has to yeah. get their groove in it. And when you're a player and you know, yeah, when you're coming into a team that if you don't set the world alight, then you're not going to play for another two months. Where's the motivation? James Milner spoke about the same thing at Man City. He was just like, yo, like I was playing well, but I'm the easy one to drop because I'm not going to argue with the manager. Do you know what I'm saying? My yeah. agent's not going to call the manager. So all that happens is I come in, I play well, and then I get dropped and they know I'm not going to argue. And it got to the point where he was like, right, I need to leave here, bro. Because it's like, before man kick up a stink and do the bad man thing, I'm just going to leave, innit? And it happens with players. Same thing happened with Mason under Oli. He was always the easy option to sub off or just not start because he was the kid, even though he was yeah. one of our best performers. There's always Better a player. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what they do. And now the manager does the same thing with Anthony because he knows Anthony. Even if Rashford's playing rubbish or Andre's playing rubbish, I'll sub Anthony off because I know him. Like, this is what these guys do, bro. That's not how you manage players, bro.